We turn next to the story of a woman of God, a nun who spent her life serving the church and other people, but recently made a decision that sparked swift and severe punishment from the Catholic Church. And it's raising an outcry. Here's Dan Harris. Sister Margaret McBride has been described as saintly, courageous, and the moral conscience of St. Joseph's, a Catholic hospital in Phoenix, Arizona, where she was a senior administrator and where late last year she faced an agonizing choice. A 27-year-old mother of four came in 11 weeks pregnant and seriously ill. Doctors said if her pregnancy wasn't terminated, she would likely die of heart failure, taking her unborn child with her. Oh, I think she prayed and prayed, and I'm sure that this weighed on her like a ton of bricks. In a statement, the hospital said in this tragic case, the treatment necessary to save the mother's life required the termination of an 11-week pregnancy. Sister McBride supported that decision, and many medical ethicists say it was the right call. It just doesn't make much ethical sense to argue that two deaths are preferable to one. However, the bishop in Phoenix, Thomas J. Olmsted, did not agree. He put out a statement suggesting he might have preferred allowing the mother to die. An unborn child is not a disease, he said. The end does not justify the means. The bishop recently announced that Sister McBride was excommunicated. The case has caused an uproar, with critics pointing out that church leaders often took years to punish priests who sexually abused children, and even they were not excommunicated. Their priorities are really misguided. It's a significant face-off between compassionate, Christ-like pastoral care for people and control of people by the hierarchy. Sister McBride is still employed at her hospital in a different position, but for now she is no longer a member of the Catholic Church. Dan Harris, ABC News.